since the Verbose Amplitude and Tone Controller has both a filter and a VCA inside the same package, it's really tempting to say, huh, this is a low pass gate, isn't it? Well, you can indeed treat it as a low pass gate. And indeed, this envelope input on the VCA is normaled over to the filter side. So I'm going to go ahead and lose my attack sustain release envelope from the Moog, set it aside for a moment, just take my ADSR out and feed it to both the amplifier and to the filter. Now this was a little bit of a trick in the ARP 2600. Its internal attack decay envelope is normalized to the exponential input on the VCA. I'll pull the cable side so you can see that label. So we have an exponential VCA response. But the envelope in the ARP 2600, as is the case with my Roland 540 here, is exponential as well. So with two exponential curves factored together, you get a real exaggerated droop to the envelope, which is very good for percussive sounds, another thing that low pass gates are known for. Let's go ahead and try to dial in some sounds using this. Nothing initially until I turn up the antenna inverter. I'll pull back on the resonance for now and the input gain. Let's go for some shorter sounds and much lower cutoffs to get that typical low pass gate sound. A little higher drive to the filter, higher drive to the VCA, and just a short decay. And then as we like, we can start adding back in resonance, etc. Get that short percussive blip. Now, if you did want to have some sustain on the note, in addition to just increasing the sustain level here, I can go ahead and plug my normal envelope back into the linear input and mix in that envelope as well alongside the exponential input. Now we're getting a really good thump because we're adding both of those control voltages together and overdriving the VCA. That's a good thump. Increase the gain. So as you can hear, good for percussive sounds. Now this filter does have a Vactral in it assigned to the cutoff frequency, but it's a relatively fast Vactral. Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to pull a keyboard voltage and run that into my CV input, turn down my normal sawtooth input, put the filter into resonance, turn up the amp so you can hear it. So now my keyboard voltage is controlling the pitch. You can hear a slight slew of portamento. I go to different pitches. That's the sound of the Vactral adding some slew onto the sound. Now that gets fun when you start having very fast envelopes and high resonance amounts. So I'm going to go pull the keyboard out and instead start using this fast envelope again. I'll pull the sustain all the way down and let's pull the cutoff down. Now we're getting a nice little pitch bend to the filter cutoff. Turn down the VCA so it mutes. Decide how deep I want it to drive. Here's a more simple analog or acoustic kick. And then something a bit more overdriven. A bit more electronic. <laughs> 